What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are installing the glove box extension with the cell phone holder, along with the dual USB charging port that hides away inside the glove box. Unfortunately, BRP does not send instructions with it, so you have to get online and download the instructions. So let's go do that now, and then we will come back and start depaneling this sled. To get the instructions, you have to go to instructions.brp.com, then type in your 10 digit product SKU. Let's get the glove box extension instructions first. Okay, that looks like we got the right ones. Now let's get the power outlet instructions. Perfect, let's go back out to the garage and get this sled depaneled. So now that we got the panels removed, we can identify the accessory plug, which is this first plug right here. So we're gonna unplug it for now. And that's what we'll use to power the heater for the cell phone and the USB charger. Now that we have the glove box out, uh, we need to drill a few holes. Skidoo made it pretty easy to identify where the holes need to be drilled. So we need to make a three quarter inch hole here. We need to drill a 13 64th hole here and here. And then on the top side, we need to do an 11 64th hole here and here. So let's do that. So we're gonna start with the three quarter inch hole first. I'm going to step it up, so I'm going to start with an eighth inch bit first and then work my way all the way up to three quarters of an inch. That way my bit doesn't walk around on me and mar up the bottom of this glove box. Next, we have to install a grommet in this three quarter inch hole. So this will go something like grommets installed. Now, 
the next step is installing this base plate in here like this. And we are, we gotta route this connector up through. Hopefully you guys can see this. Uh, I just wanted to show how I have this routed. It took me a little bit to figure out, so uh, hopefully I can spare you some time. So this is the plug that goes to the phone mount heater. And then uh, on the bottom side of this plate, uh, you have an accessory plug that you plug the USB wiring harness into. And then you have another accessory plug that's gonna go back to the plug that we identified on the machine uh, behind the panel. So this wiring harness and this wiring harness have to go through that three quarter inch hole. So I took the grommet back out just to make that a little bit easier, but I wanted to show you how this is uh, routed just uh, to spare you some time. We are done, uh, well with that portion at least. So this is your phone mount uh, heater plug. You have your USB uh, power outlet right here. You have it wired, it's labeled, so make sure that you put uh, your wiring on correctly. We have some zip ties to form the wiring harnesses to the bottom side of the glove box. And yeah, the next step is to place a foam gasket on the back side of this. And then we can place the glove box extension on top and then install the glove box. We have our glove box and our glove box extension, so we're just gonna marry these up and screw it down. So it's gonna be a little difficult to slide it down or push it down because of that foam gasket, but uh, just hold on to it and place your screws in. There's two. So all I'm doing right now is plugging the glove box extension phone mount heater in, maybe, there we go. Okay, now that is done. Now let's go back to the machine and install this on the machine. Back at the machine, I had to route a pigtail from underneath the glove box area to the back of the machine where this plug is. So one of the pigtails is gonna connect to the machine harness and then this is gonna plug into the receptacle up there. All right, let's put the glove box extension on. Don't forget to uh, connect your plugs. Do that now. Make sure get this lined up. You want to make sure that the glove box is all the way forward, seated in its slots. Uh, now we are going to start the mounting screws. All right.
All that's left is buttoning up the side of the machine. The sled is back together and I have my phone in the phone mount. I wanted to show that you can still use it while it's open. The downside is that uh, you do have to leave your phone open the entire time because you cannot unlock it, uh, of course. But the best part about this whole thing is look at all that storage. So my plan is to put batteries down below. That way they'll stay warm from the heat of the engine. Plus they can charge with the USB charger. And then I'll put uh, snacks above it. And like important things like gloves and tools and extra stuff. But there it is, all done. I hope I saved you some time by showing you how to install this glove box extension. If you got value from this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm trying to grow this channel and I can only do it with your help. Until next time, explore beyond the horizon.